lovelies welcome back to homemade recipe and lifestyle my name is Lola and you are welcome to my channel in today's recipe I will be showing you guys how to make eggs and plantains frittata this recipe is amazing it tastes super delicious and yummy you're going to like it it's just perfect for breakfast or lunch I don't like taking egg for dinner so I love to take this either in the morning or in the afternoon so please let's get started welcome back guys so to make this recipe, these are the list of the ingredients that I will be using for this recipe. I have my two ripe plantains, eggs, sausage, bell pepper, seasoning powder, and some other vegetables as well, which I will be introducing to you guys later. All right. The first thing I will be doing is to so peel and slice the plantain. I've watched my plantain before cutting it, so it is very, very nice if you can do that before you start peeling your plantain so you don't transfer jam or dirty into your food. This is how you, uh, to cut the plantain if you are making this recipe. And I will be frying this plantain off camera to save time. I believe everyone knows how to fry plantains. Here are the plantains. I will set it aside. And next is tomatoes. A tomato. I will be using one tomato, okay? I will go ahead and chop this tomato. You can blend this or if you are using uh, use your food processor to roughly blend this. If you don't want to chop it I'm using tomatoes onion spring onion minced bell peppers garlic ginger salt seasoning powder sausage curry powder and oil yep for the vegetables and sauce you can cut it in any shape in any size that you prefer this is how i love to cut my i have fried the plantain i have my fried pan on the fire i will go ahead and have a little bit of oil and then I will add the chop onion. I will stir together. I will add the chopped garlic and ginger. I will stir this together. I'm doing this on a medium heat. Next, I will pour in the chopped tomato. And I will stir this together. These are my seasonings curry powder, chicken stock powder, and salt. I will add them then and stir together. I will add the sausage. I'm using chicken sausage. You can use chicken, you can use beef or any other meat or even fish as well. Whatever that is available for you, just use it if you don't have sausage. Now I will add the sliced minced bell peppers. I'm not going to fry this 
for long on fire you don't need to fry for long because you're still going to bake it later so there's no need to fry this for long you just need to stir fry them mix everything together now i will have the spring onion These are the eggs that I will be using. I'm using 10 eggs and I will crack the eggs into a bowl. I will have salt and whisk the eggs. Once I whisk the eggs, I will pour the stir fry vegetables, the sausage, tomato, bell peppers, and onion. I will mix everything together. Now we move to the next process, which is the baking process. I will spread this my glass baking uh, tray or baking pan with olive oil just to prevent the health and um, platen sticky to the bottom. And then I will pour in the mixture and then I will plant the fried platen or place the fried platen on top of the mixture. At this stage, I've already preheated my oven on 180 degrees and I will be baking this for 20 to 25 minutes. If you don't want to use oven, you can follow the same process by using your your fried pan, pour in the mixture, cover it and bake it on a low medium heat on your gas cooker as well. So 25 minutes later, this recipe is ready. Just look at this. Oh my God, guys, my kids love this. In fact, the way they, they consume this after making it, I was so, so surprised. They love it. So I hope you will give it a try as well. If you do, please let me know. Tag me or leave a comment for me, okay? Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate you all. Thank you for all your amazing support. To all my returning subscribers, my subscribers, both new and old, I say big thank you to you all. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you all. God bless you all. All right, guys, we have come to the end of this video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all in my next video. Stay blessed.